sticking to a new workout routine can be extremely challenging you'll be on a roll for a week and feel like nothing can stop you but for some reason as time goes by you start losing motivation and all your good intentions fall apart you find yourself skipping days which then turn into weeks and before you know it you get to that point where you feel like you have to start all over again to reach your fitness goals how many of us can relate to this i can also relate mm -hmm. i've been there i've experienced this and it is not nice in actual fact it's depressing you really feel like you are defeated in life yo it's really not nice but hey there's a solution to every problem that's why we are here so please stick around and let's learn together <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and thank you so much for taking your time, your precious time to join me today. I really, really appreciate it. Today's video is about how to make exercise a habit that sticks. In the last session, we spoke about how to kickstart your fitness journey like a pro and I shared with you a couple of things practical tips that you can do in order to start your journey like a pro but now say you have started how do you stay consistent what is it that you need to do to keep at it and not give up along the way that is the whole purpose of this video but before we dive into that i want us to spend a few seconds to talk about habits what are habits Habits are behaviors that you repeat over and over again until you reach a point of automaticity. A practical example is waking up in the morning and going straight to the bathroom to brush your teeth. This is one habit that many of us have developed over time. A common belief is that it takes 21 days for a new habit to form. But according to a research article published in the European Journal of Social Psychology, it takes 66 days, that's approximately 8 to 9 weeks for a habit to reach the point of automaticity. That's a point where you now do something automatically without really having to think hard or convince yourself to do it. And for you to get to that point, it takes repetition, it takes self-control, commitment, and consistency. Yes, consistency is key, especially if you want to see traction and results. I mean, you cannot just do something once or 10 times and expect it to get you to where you want to go. You really need to invest time and energy in doing it so i hope we are now clear on what habits are and now let's go to the main question how do we make exercise an unbreakable habit the first thing that you want to do is to schedule your workouts robin sharma says the things that get scheduled are the things that get done and i hundred percent agree with him if you do not schedule it chances are you're going to forget about it, let alone do it. So it's very crucial for you to plan your workouts in advance and also slot them in your daily to-do list. That will actually help you to be more accountable and it will also give you that push to do your workout. Someone might say, okay, Mamusa, I hear you. What you're saying is very important and I really want to take my fitness journey to the next level. But I am so busy. I am just occupied. Always have things to do. I really cannot find time to exercise or take care of my health. 
what should I do? Okay, maybe you first need to ask yourself this question. Do you take exercise as something that is important in your life? If the answer is yes, then you will do whatever it takes to slot it in your busy schedule. Even if it's just 10 minutes or 15 minutes, it's better than nothing, honestly. Let me just make a quick example. I try to consistently wake up every day at 5 a.m. And one of the things that I do is having a workout session. I usually take 30 to 45 minutes doing it. And by the time I finish, I feel so energized, so refreshed and fully awake. And I'm able to do other things afterwards. And it works for me. It works for me because I get to be so busy during the day and I don't even have time in the afternoon to work out. That's why I've decided that, you know what, I'll sleep early and wake up early so that by the time I kickstart my day, I've already done my exercise routine. So for you, it might be different. Maybe working out in the evening or in the afternoon works perfectly fine for you. That's okay i'm not suggesting that people should start waking up very early and not getting sufficient sleep uh -uh, i'm not saying that you sleep early and you wake up early or you can still continue with your sleeping routine and then maybe do your exercises in the afternoon or in the evening that's really up to you the most important thing is to schedule your workouts where are you going to do them and when are you going to do them you need to be very clear on that the second thing is to set the trigger according to charles dahik author of the power of habit our habits are broken up into three sections the cue the routine and the reward the cue is the trigger or stimulus that sets our habit into motion the routine is the action that you take immediately following the cue and the reward is what you get from the action that you took let's say you're planning to go out for a run the following day so the night before you prepare everything you put your running shoes there and make sure that everything is all set and ready and then you wake up in the morning the first thing that you see is what your running shoes that will serve as a trigger it will trigger you to act so you put your running shoes on and you go out for a run that's what the routine you're now doing the action and then when you are done you feel so good you feel like oh my goodness this was worth doing that is the reward and those feelings or the good feelings come as a result of the neurotransmitters that are released during the exercise that really help to elevate your mood and give you that positive energy an example is endorphins these are natural hormones that are released when we exercise so the cue routine and reward so you need to set the trigger something that will prompt you to act the next thing that i would recommend you to do is to do something that you enjoy it doesn't have to be all stressful and torturing yay no it doesn't have to be that bad guys do something that you enjoy not all of us love running not all of us love lifting weights so we don't have to do it if you don't like it if you enjoy dancing go for it if you enjoy working or doing other exercises aerobics or whatever do what you love and stick to it you don't want to do something because someone else is doing it and it looks so cool hmm don't do that because it's not sustainable all right so yes it also helps to work out with a friend or a group of friends and this helps with accountability purposes and sometimes when you don't feel like doing it you're like mm, but i've made a promise so i need to get up and do it so if you cannot do it alone 
find someone who has the same goal as you and do it together it will really help you with the consistency another thing is that yeah it's very important to keep the promises that we make to ourselves a lot of us will do whatever it takes to keep the promises that we make to other people but when it comes to us oh it's another story yeah we really need to train ourselves to take ourselves seriously i hope that makes sense so if you promise yourself that you're going to work out three times a week try to push yourself of course obstacles will come along the way but you need to get to that point where you do something even when you don't feel like doing it that's actually how your willpower will be strengthened willpower is like a muscle the more you use it and stretch it beyond its limits the more it becomes stronger so you don't want to give up because you don't feel like doing something feelings always fluctuate if we were to depend on feelings we wouldn't do anything so that's really something that i also want to encourage you guys to do keep the promises you make to yourself and even if you don't feel like doing something just try to push yourself to do it and at the end of the day you'll be grateful you'll actually be glad that you did it and if you happen to mix a workout or two don't be too hard on yourself it happens it's part of the journey but just don't relax pick yourself up and continue with the journey so yes ladies and gents that is basically what i wanted to share with you guys today there's quite a lot of things but i didn't want to make this video to be too long i just thought i should keep it short and sweet so that you can start implementing some of the things and we will share more with time but yeah please remember that habit installation takes time it's not an easy process it's actually painful because you're breaking you're breaking your old habits and trying to install new ones so you can't expect to be easy but it's doable and it just requires time and commitment to add on that robin sharma also says that change is hard at first messy in the middle and gorgeous at the end if it wasn't hard it wouldn't be real change so keep at it don't throw in the towel and you will see results at the end all right that is all from me please keep well keep safe and keep healthy